So there is a problem with the APO server. Let me check with Murli. Okay, Rajinder, I just called Murli. He is okay. with the, uh, the pro service provider's person. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from, Rajinder? Rajinder, where are you from, Hyderabad? In from which location? I am from Ramantapur location. Ramantapur, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you are basically from Hyderabad, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You are going to have a head up and you are going to have a head up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 अच्छा नर ए इंच नर मिलो एक्चुअली मैं मुरली का ना को कनेक्शन सीन बोल चुका हूँ एक यो दी इसी सीडी मामू यार हाँ राइट हाँ हाँ एक्चुअली मैं वो प्रोसीजर तो लोट गया ना कनेक्शन अभी ये इधर आह इलान्टे मेरो इधर उन्हीं का था एसएपी लॉगन मैं चूस ना रहा इकरा या हाँ ओके ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल इधर स लेकिन टेम मुरली का नर्तक तो 720 वर्षन ने डाउनलोड यस कोड एक लिंक इस तरह में को, ओके? ओके। आ लिंक डाउनलोड यस इन तरह था, इलावस संदी इकड़ा, कनेक्शन्स लो के लिए तरह था इकड़ा। ओके। ओके। आ इ टैबु प्रेस जैसी इकड़ा, सो इकड़ा न्यू केल्टे, नेक्स्ट केल्टे, इकड़ा डिटेल्स इवाल इकड़ा सर्वर नहीं मिला आदि वन आईडी उन्हें जो वन फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट ओन्स हाँ ओके 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 या या आ अकड़ा नंबर और सिस्टम आईडी अब रेंडी चिंत रहा था ये मूड फील ही इम्पोर्टेंट है सर्वर आदि तरह था इंस्टॉलेशन नंबर सिस्टम आईडी चिंत रहा था नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पोर्ट पोते आ आदि एक्टिवेट ह कनेक्शन्स लो के लिए तराता है करना न्यू एंट्री लिए तराता है इकड़ा नेक्स्ट लिए तराता हाँ या आता है ओके हाँ इकड़ा वन ट्वेंटी टू इधर दिया इकड़ा इधर दिया वाले ओके इकड़ा हाँ सिस्टम आधे मिक्स आईडी नंबर इच चुन्टर तरह सिस्टम आईडी उड़ी चुन्टर आऊँ ओके आधे इकड़ा ये ऐसी नेक्स्ट न ओके ओके अजनर इतनो दे आर गोइंग टू रीस्टार्ट दे आर एक्चुअली रीस्टार्टिंग द सर्वर सो दे आर टेलिंग दैट इट इस इट विल टेक अनदर टेन मिनट्स ओके बाय द मेन टाइम यू कैन स्टार्ट एनी थीरी और 
No, actually, last time only I started the theory that uh, uh, discussed, right? So okay. today I'm I'm actually uh, uh, tell I will tell in the system only the okay. entire thing whatever I discussed last time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the these things. So the theoretical part I I discussed last time whatever we discussed right this. Characteristics you remember. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This, these are the characteristics, and these are the products. These are the locations. So, and I'm just uh, reviewing the same thing. So, you have a sales history. You have a forecast. Different key figures. These are the key figures. Okay. So, you require these things for the basic demand planning setup. Okay. okay? So, it's this is a business. Your business is like this. You have a in your business you have a product or you have locations, you have a divisions, regions, ship to party, sold to party. This I just imagine. But in, in your business, if you go for a implementation or anything, you may have few other additional characteristics also. It depends on how user want to check the data. If you want to check that regional wise, then you need a regional uh, character. Sometimes if you want a sales organization character also, if you want to check sales organization level, then he can add that sales organization character here. Okay. How the user want, based on that only, these things will be set up. Okay. okay. So this, once you select these characteristics, you need to select key figures. Okay. So here these are the key figures we selected. In the key figure, the basically the characters and key figure difference is characteristics will hold only master data. Okay. okay. And key figures will will hold this uh, uh, transaction data. Okay. Is numbering things. Transaction yeah, yeah. item is this all these numbering things. Okay. What are the numbers you will get here? So here we just discussed only uh, start fo uh, forecast and a sales history. But in real time, if you go, then you will find a few other key figures also. Maybe uh, some 10 to 15 key figures will be required. <coughs> for every business okay like uh, once you do a statistical focus then you need to adjust your one then then some other person may adjust another one then you will copy the adjusted things into the final forecast so all these things like for that purpose you need different characters key figures so these key figures we need to define in planning area and these characteristics you need to select in planning of the structure set up these two once you set up these two then you need a planning book to view the data okay. here just we are viewing in the excel sheet but in real time if you want to view you need a planning books okay. Okay. so where you will uh, see the data actual data so in this planning book if you load this combination then respectively this data will be loaded in the planning book you can able to view okay, okay. so this setup now we are once we get the system what we'll see is we will create a m post in this m post we will select different characteristics whatever we have discussed here okay. then we'll create a planning area in that we'll select a different key figures okay while creating planning area itself we'll link this m post to the planning area so that they will be get link okay. and then we'll create a planning books to view the data okay yeah just uh, I will come in another 5 to 10 minutes Thank you. okay by the time I hope uh, the server will be available let's see it's available now yeah uh, let's wait I will join at 751 okay let's at uh, the time I will check Okay, eleven seven fifty five. Okay, okay. Right.
Hello Rajinder. Yeah, sure. Now we got the server. Okay. So once you you connect this one, once you configure like this, once you double click and you will get this screen, right? Okay. So here you need to mention this <coughs> marks APO3 okay. and the password which SAP APO slash MSDP underscore admin okay. the path. Mm -hmm. okay, once you double click. In this T code you can able to create a planning area plus MPOS. Both you can create in this T code only. Okay, so okay. once you log in this to this T code, it will point to planning area first. So if you want to go to MPOS, planning area means where you select a key figures. Mm -hmm. So but we need a MPOS, planning object structure. Okay. Okay. For that one, for that one you need to select here, click on this one, then it is pointing to planning area. So okay. you need to select to planning object structure. Okay. So once you select there, this planning object structure screen will come here like this. Okay. Okay. So here, so different these is many MPOS will not be there in real time because of the test system people will just be trying creating creating that's why you can able to see mm -hmm. more MPOS but in real time you won't see those many for one for one business one MPOS will be there for demand planning okay. okay so first of all how to create MPOS is this this icon is there right folder icon mm -hmm. this one so here you need to right click and click on planning object structure okay. it is so 
this is planning object structure. So okay. here you can give any name, whatever you feel. Whatever. So I'll give uh, your name R. Uh, one thing, Kishore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, because this enforce we will be trading some other things, so import is there any other things? No, not required. That info cube is a BW things. Okay. Not... Okay, okay. And there is no need of uh, the info cube either. No, info cube is not required. Okay. So you you will get once you click on that one, you will get like this. Just give the same uh, as a description. Okay, here. So in the right hand side you will see different characteristics which are already available. Okay. So that you need select your characteristics. So here we have a characteristics product location division region. So I will select the same characteristic now. Okay. okay. Are the same character. So here we need a one product, one location, one division and range here. Okay. I select that now. Okay. For product and location, you need to select. 9A M specific characteristics for location and product. I will tell you later that why the reason for that one like this. Uh, 9 it starts with 9A. That is those are standard one. I don't know if you can the binoculars. Ah, once again, Raj. Ah, uh, otherwise we can search through binoculars. No, 9A. If we type, then it will be coming. Yeah, 9A and 0, these are all standard key figures which, which will come along with the system. Okay. Uh, once the server we get, we will get these as a standard. Okay. But uh, if you want any naming, any specific naming convention, if you want our own characteristic, then we can create our own. So, okay. once we create our own, then it will not be a 9, it will not start with a 9A or, or a 0. Okay. It will some other uh, C or some other will be there. Okay. These things like this. Okay. You just they have given. So, but for the location and product, we need to select. It's all. It's one kind of must. Okay. Starting with nine, I will tell you. The reason I will tell you later because one concept called life cycle planning, where it will support only these characteristics. Okay will not accept other than the standard characteristics. I don't want this one. So the product I selected now I need a location 9A. I think it has gone down I think. Ah. 9A lock You see here. Yeah. So you select this one and click on this okay. button. <coughs> So these two you need to select the standard one. Let the rest you can select any one, any of them. Okay. So location over. Now I need a division, region, ship to and sold to. Okay. Here I have a one region. Ship to is there here. Yeah. I think Murli is calling. I'm really
things if you want a your own character then you need to create that in the PW. Okay. okay. So these are all uh, which comes from the BW only. Means here no, there will be two types. One is standard BW and the APO BW. Okay. Standard BW is separate server will be there. But APO BW is inbuilt in this server itself some BW part will be there. For some purpose, we need those uh, 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 VW things like cube and this for, for pulling the sales history like that. But for that, we will take uh, VW people help to create okay. and to pull the data from ECC to VW cubes. Okay. So here we got all of them almost. Our only division is. selected these things okay whatever we have discussed in the excel sheet i have selected those things now save this one save i will come back here the one which we have created just now is raj underscore dp but is in red status means it is not using this same pause yeah, it's not active. For if you want to use this same pause, it should be active. Then yeah, yeah. we can able to use. Yeah. So in active status, we cannot able to use. So how to activate that one is go on, again inside of the TP uh, Rajas for TP and pause. <coughs> click on this okay. button. This is active. If you create, it will take. Uh, these navigation things you can find in SCM totally or where it should? Uh, once again. Uh, these navigation things for the creation of control in the planning area. You can find it in SCM uh, totally or which material you can see these things. Uh, yes, yes, you can find. You can find those things, right? Okay. While activating it will create some tables in the background that's why it will take time settle. What is the exact meaning of this impulse map? Impulse is uh, uh, selecting the characteristics, that's it. So you are grouping it, different characteristics means these are the characteristics you are going to use for for analyzing or for planning your business. But here once you activate in real time, once you activate and start using, you cannot able to change this. So while creation itself, you have to choose properly that how many characteristics you want. You cannot add a new or you cannot delete the existing ones. So that time what will what they do is during the implementation time itself they will check with different options. So and will give to the users. If they are comfortable then they will go. Otherwise if the user asks they need a new another characteristics then during the implementation itself they will take care of this. Once it is done live, we cannot add a new characteristics into the MPOS. Okay. Now it is active. Okay. Now it is active. Now MPOS is ready. Okay. okay. So now we need a planning area. Okay. 
before creating a planning area, if we ask planning for the planning area, we need a storage bucket profile. Storage bucket profile means how you want to store the data. Okay. Whether whether uh, monthly basis or a weekly basis or a quarterly basis, that you need to define in a storage bucket profile. Okay. Once you create the storage bucket profile, you can use in the planning area. Yeah. What I will do is I will create an impose. And we can assign that in the planning area. Settings here. So this one. Periodicity for the plan for planning area. So for here, you can give any storage bucket profile. So here I want to, I just said only weekly and monthly. Okay. And you see the valid type. Okay. 01012012. You can give any number. Okay. 31st 12, 2020. I am just giving. Recent, what is it? Or is it dates? Is it historical dates or? Both, all together. Okay, including uh, forecast and design history. Yeah, because in the planning area you will have a historical, you will have a forecast, you will have all the adjustments, everything will be there. So we assign this to directly to the planning area. Okay. So I've given valid dates from 2012. Past why means we need a historical data that will be there in the past only. That's why I'm starting with 2012 onwards. Okay. Transaction data is comes from the planning area. Where it comes from? The planning area. Okay. 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 Yeah. So here I just selected the storage packet profile that we are assigning. Okay. Here, once we select it, we yeah, yeah. this storage packet profile is assigned to the planning okay. area. And here you need to mention what unit of measure you are choosing for your planning area. Okay. Whether KG, whether units or what, this I will choose KG. Okay. Yeah. Then this screen will come. So go to the second tab here. Here you need to select different key figures. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. What are the key figures you require? So okay. basically you need a historical sales and a, a forecast. This forecast one another one corrected forecast I need and we need a historical sales we need a final forecast 
past. This one is a historical space. Corrected history. So in the random also you can select anything or they will do the data from the data too. No, you can select anything which are, which are available here. If you want any specific naming convention then you can ask BW or you can create uh, the, uh, the characteristics in BW. Okay. So like here, like uh, uh, CPA, CPA Z. In your business if you want to use something, a new naming convention which is not available here. Like the example okay. if you want some uh, R underscore R D P. You start with all or R D P underscore uh, key figure one, key figure two. But in the description you may change. But yeah. key figures will show key figure one, two, three like that. If you want you can keep, you can go and uh, create in the B W. Then it will be available here in the right hand side. You can select. That. Like here. So here if you go to the details, some things will come up here. Not here, sorry. Uh, here. So these are the things uh, by default. These are the aggregations, we can say aggregations. So by default system will assign yes only here and in the time bucket profile, time based disaggregation it will show T. But there are other options also available. Like these many are available. I will teach you one by one in the next coming classes. Okay. Okay, but, but, but the system will uh, default will assign yes only every okay. time. Okay. So I'm just uh, activating like this. Here there is no activation button directly. So how we can activate is just save this one as it is. I am bottom with the last one. Blocking logic. Ah, one second. <laughs> Locking logic is like a whether live cash lock. When you are uh, there is a like consistency like uh, jobs are there. Okay. So when you are running those things, you will get an option to lock the planning area. Okay. That will come only if you activate here. Okay. So by default, it will show as an active only, tick only. Okay. Here, this is if we want to lock a big key figure specific locking then you can take this one. Okay. We will see that later. Okay. I'm just activating. Yeah, yeah. So here you see that is in inactive status. It will be in inactive status only. This one. So how to activate is this one. You need to give a periodicity means you need to mention this planning area is valid from which date to which date. Okay. In the in the storage bucket profile also I have just given the date from 2012 onwards till 2025. Just like that we have given. You can give 2050 also. But in planning area you cannot give like that. 
Okay. You cannot activate till 2025, 2030 or 2040. Mm -hmm. You need to activate how much exactly your business requires. Okay. Means if your business is required, means if your business is uh, uh, wants a start forecast, the forecast for the next two years only, okay. then you need to activate for the two years period only. Okay. Or you can give over three years, but not a very beyond that time. Why means? Why? Because every time when you load, it will take time to get the data. Yeah. So if you have a longer horizon till 2025 like that, then it will take more time to get the data or loading the data or running the jobs, whatever it is. So it will affect the performance. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why, that's why we just activate why we have in the storage bucket profile we have just given because we have given because here anyhow we are controlling the data in the planning area that's why we have just increased the, given the date till 2025 storage bucket profile so okay. here actually we are controlling the data in the planning area yeah so how to activate how to create that is called time series right click on this planning area this one create time series objects you need to create means it will create a buckets time buckets means the storage bucket profile you have mentioned uh, monthly and weekly like that same way it will uh, create a time buckets monthly okay. and a weekly wise for that horizon till horizon okay. so version here version i'm just selecting a triple zero i will tell you the versions later what is the meaning of the version okay okay this is the active version okay that reading compulsory yeah triple zero yeah, yeah. And give the date. Start date is 0101 2012. Mm -hmm. And then only 2015. Okay. Yeah, just I'm giving 31st 12, 2016. Okay. And activating. If you don't activate, we'll throw an error. See what error See here, no characteristics combinations exist for the planning of the structure. Okay. It means, it means this characteristics we have selected. Okay. But this master data we have not created. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it is what it is saying is it it requires at least one combination to get it active. Okay. Okay. So then what you need to do? You need to go to the emboss and create this master data. Okay. Go to the emboss here, Raj. Right click on here. Okay. There is a create statistics combination. I can go to here, maintain. This is our emboss. Click on this create statistics combination. Here, different ways are available. We yeah. manually create. Yeah. So, what is these things are? What it will do is it will load from the VW. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you have a VW cube, in that cube, if you have these combinations, then it will load that, that combinations directly into this emboss. Okay. But I will go with create manually here. Okay. And here, whenever you create any combinations, you need to select this adjust time series. Okay. That is must. Because otherwise it will give a inconsistency errors okay. for the new combinations. So to avoid that one, we need to create check this one at this time. Okay. And uh, this one also require check the characteristic value. Means if you give a, any unwanted characteristics, if you give like uh, some high, uh, some some uh, symbols like a dollar, low six, some uh, some symbols, it will not accept. Okay. So if you try to load those things, it will give an error, error warning message. If you check this one. Okay. For that purpose, we are just checking this check statistics value okay. and then go for a create. Yeah. So here we got a box. This one. So okay. how to create is click on this button row. Okay. So here you can go and create. Okay. So the how that is same what we have here. Yeah. Uh, product location. Location and product is set. So what I will do is location, product. 
works division region and ship to and sold to yeah now okay. exactly what I will just copy here and okay. paste it here in the first line okay. select the first line and just control V okay. all of them got selected yeah. so here select this one select this top left hand button okay. this one once you select all the form links you select then you need to generate there is no direct save button yeah 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 what you, you need to generate here. Generate combinations. Click, yeah, click on this generate. Then this combination. Mm -hmm. this create. But generally in the real time we will do it manually for a picture or through um, copy? Hello? Uh, combinations. They just go and manually creates. Okay. Because every time once the setup is done, so for the new combinations it will be very less. Okay. okay. That time what they do is just they will they can go and create directly. Mm -hmm. okay. Both ways is there. For the FMCG kind of business, FMCG means like a HUL this one. Then the combinations will change frequently. Okay. The product name or something like that will change very frequently. Okay. So for that purpose uh, they need to load the data. So every time they can't go and create manually like this. So what okay. they do is they will load directly from the Excel sheet to the BWQ. Okay. Okay. And from there it will pull from, from the BW to the same post. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. This component is ready. Now I can go and activate the planning area. Okay. Okay. So the combination is ready. Now we'll After the, the generation of the combinations we can go back again. We can go yeah. back to the planning area. Yes. Planning area, right. And then go for it, this create time series checks. Here again select the same triple zero version and the date. Just yeah. Now exit. Um, what are the dates you have given the time period? We will reflect in the planning book or planning area we have given. Yeah. So planning book anything you can give but it will pull from the planning area only. Okay. okay. So here that now it is active. Okay. okay. If you check this one again then this last two previously these two options are not great. It was grayed out. Yeah, yeah. These are available because once you create this time series it will come. You okay. can delete and the deletion deletion you cannot do mm -hmm. here even though the option is available in real time you cannot do because mm -hmm. once you delete entire data will go yeah okay mm -hmm. so we just check for the checking purpose you, you can go this one created time series okay okay so this triple zero you can just uh, the start date is 1 1 2012 end date is 31st 12 2016 mm -hmm. and then created like this you can check yeah, this is here the version we have triple zero triple okay. zero that is a standard version you should have okay. what is means version means the data entire data will store under this version okay. the, uh, this transaction data will store under the triple zero version okay. but if you want a new version you can go and create mm -hmm. okay. Why you need a new version is that is called a, other than triple zero called will call as simulation version means inactive versions. Okay. Why we need uh, those inactive versions is sometimes if you want to test any new things which okay. you don't want to directly implement in the real time. Yeah. Then you can do that in the inactive version. Okay. If you are satisfied then the same thing you can do in the triple zero version. Yeah. Okay. So here the, the advantage here for the versions is for the same versions for the triple zero or a or a inactive version uh, one hundred version or two hundred version any other things the master data will be same. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. With this, using the same master data, you can create different versions. Okay. okay. But we generally use uh, different versions in SNP. Mm -hmm. We rarely use in demand planning. Okay. Okay. How to create another version is again right click here, the planning area, again go to the create time series. Same. Give another version which is already available in the system. Okay. Maybe uh, 001. Mm -hmm. To make this. And give uh, your own dates. If you want a new dates also, you can give okay. any other than this one. And activate. It is activated. Now if I check. Yeah, two versions will be there. Okay, okay. Okay, like that. Okay. Just practice the same things, uh, uh, Rajendra. Just yeah. once. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue yeah. creating a planning books and next things. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have time, then you can create the same things in the same server with the new your own uh, naming. Naming. Okay. Give your own name. Yeah, one thing to be sure and how to see the combinations in this for, for the series. That we'll see. That we'll see tomorrow. Okay, okay. Because already we have created series. Right, right. You see the same uh, impost in the in the same impost you can go and check. Okay. And here, just go here and select your impost. There is a separate T code also there. MC six today. Yeah, MC6 to write. So here, just go here and just again go to maintain. Here, if you click on this one, then it will show. Okay. You can able to see what data you have entered, what services are available. Here, only 21 combinations we have. But in real time, you will. Have fifty thousand one lakh two lakhs combinations also. Okay. So we'll continue tomorrow at same time seven thirty. I think tomorrow is a festival. Aha, uh -huh, okay. It's up to you. If you are available, no, no. then we'll continue. I'm just telling you. Ah, okay. I'm, I think I'm available. That's why I'm saying I can can be available. Let's see. If you are not available, just and give me your ID also, Rajinder. If I'm not available, I can intimate you in, in, in your time. Okay. No, mm. not only tomorrow. In the going forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give your ID? Okay, you may ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rajinder. R H E N D E R. R H E N. E N. E N D E R. Okay. P H. P H. R M. R M. Five number five. Okay. At the rate Gmail dot. Okay. So if any intimation, if you want to give, I'll give to this mail ID. Yeah, be sure and uh, before closing this session, what are the things, necessary things to go with this for the demand by version? What uh, things can be done from my side actually? First you need to hands on, uh, you need to get this hands on experience like this just to go and whatever we discussed, mm -hmm. you create the same things in your the same system then you will get, you will get doubts. Okay. okay. So once you know what the things, uh, how the planning works, okay, how the business, what, how we implement in the system, and how the planning will work in the system, okay. then you can show the same, same, and your in your resume and show that this is what we are doing, and then you can project as you are working. Okay. Because we are keeping uh, the experience, can we get into because we are keeping to for years experience. Ah, ah, definitely you may face some uh, tough time in the beginning but once you get you may not get a at the first interview itself you may not clear but once you are uh, attending start attending the interviews then you will definitely uh, get in by comfort uh, you will be comfortable by the order for the interview. Mm -hmm. So it will happen. Everybody does like that. Okay. okay. But only thing is
is you need to get comfortable with the system and, and then you need a hands-on experience that is more important because once you are uh, 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 if, if you are having a four years experience if you if, you, if anybody asks to go to the planning book then, then you should not think what this path or then you should be go immediately okay, okay, okay. those hands-on experience is more important okay. the things what we do in the planning book that those things are most important okay. Like that, you need a hands-on experience, then you can easily get into it. Okay, Abhi, one thing, Kisha, can we just remember the T course or we must go with the navigation? Yes, what you are going to say? No, sometimes we remember the T course, but in the APO, the T course will be very long like this. So we just go navigation or just we'll, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll put into the favorites here. Okay. Okay, then we, we just uh, click on the favorites here once we add, we we'll double click on that one, the favorites, then you can okay. go into that. Nobody will ask a T codes or nobody will check whether you are going to or something. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. Of course in APO, generally in ECC the T codes will be very small and then they will yeah, yeah. type, but in the T codes will be very long. So, they will, they will go by favorites mostly or sometimes okay. by part. Okay. okay. The path is more important. Just practice with the path than than the T code directly mentioning, because you need path more important. If anybody asks you, if you, you need to know that path very okay, okay. like a uh, easily. Otherwise, if you're searching very long time for the simple things, then they may suspect. Okay. okay. Yeah. See you tomorrow then. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you.